Welcome to Healing Springs Pharmacy's educational series, Earth Talk, featuring Earth Feather, our founder. We look forward to answering your questions. If you'd like to make an appointment, please send a text message to 919-578-3276. Thank you. Today we're going to just focus on four dimensions of food. Knowledge, wisdom, understand. Earth Feather. Educate my people, that's the plan. Earth Feather. Spread knowledge, wisdom, understand. Earth Step one, we're going to deal with the mind. Step two, we'll talk about the body. Step three, we'll talk about the spirit. Then fourth dimension, sustainability. Namaste, peace, love, and light. Welcome to this episode of Earth Talk. I am Empress Earth Feather Pata of Healing Springs Pharmacy. And today... We are confirming with Brother Ron what is in this juice. Raw vegan treat. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. If I get a thousand subscribers, you'll get a full mukbang from me. It is delicious. Yes. Beets. Yes. Apples. Yes. Cucumber. Yes. Mmm. Hold on, I taste a little bit more. Celery. Yes. Carrots. Yes. Ginger. Yes. Oranges. Yes. Kiwi and lime. And lime. Wow. Yes, this is a grand rising indeed. got the mind thinking thinking about what are these particular fruits and vegetables good for if you think about it and you look at these foods in detail they actually look like the body parts that they're good for so use your mind step two now we're going to talk about the body the woman's body And as women, it's really important for us to have really good vaginal health and to have good womb health. So this is a great blend for that with the beets and the oranges being in here. So yes, rebuilding the blood, rebuilding the cells and uh, balancing ourselves, balancing our bodies. We have so many different parts. And when it comes to our cleanliness, we want to stay very clean in our yoni areas and internally as well as externally. So that spirituality with the food that we're eating and being spiritually clean, physically clean, helps and aids in your meditation because then you're not focused on your lower self. And it's really important to have a mantra um, for staying grounded in our root chakras. Uh, The one that I use is about brahmacharya, which is basically staying faithful to one person or being celibate as a woman, as a female. That is what I choose to do because when you're having sexual relations, there are exchanges that happen, you know, especially if you're not wearing protection. Even if you are wearing protection on a spiritual level, you are changing energies with that person. You're sharing energy with the other person. So it's important that they too are on a certain level if you're changing energies with them because, you know, you really don't want to pick up everybody's energies, right? So we want to be very selective with who we allow into our spaces, into our roots. We want to be very selective with what we put inside of our roots um, so that what comes out of our root is also congruent. Here are some things you should think about getting about getting some um, organic feminine products because a lot of the things that are on the market are not safe for the yoni. They're introducing bacteria to our yoni um, and bringing off the balance of our pH. So when we talk about the alkalinity and um, the cleanliness of the body, there are certain bacteria that the yoni needs in order to stay balanced while others we don't need. So having natural foods in our body and fruits and vegetables help to balance out our pH naturally. (music) 
literally feel the life force enter because this is, you know, just pure life, freshly made. But yes, this is just a, a delicious way to get grounded, to get a holistic, organic fruits and veggies into my system, tastes good, feels good going down, and I know that it's going to be beneficial for my yoni health, right? So now it's time for the spirit. How does food relate to you spiritually? Listen to this transmission. So this transmission is basically about the spiritual aspect of food and how sacred food actually is and how we shouldn't take it for granted. And that's why fasting is a great way to recognize and to pretty much appreciate food even more once you consume it. So if you're in a state of meditation for most of the day and then by the time the sun goes down and you finally had something to eat, you can appreciate and ponder over that food a lot better and savor it and take your time and truly be grateful for that food, the time that it took to grow, um, the hands that picked it, the um, hands that prepared it, all of these different aspects of the food and being grateful. So giving thanks and showing that gratitude, not wasting any of that food. We're in the fourth dimension. So the fourth part about this now, sustainability. How do we keep things sustainable? So we, we like to recycle as well as you can tell. This is a bottle from something else. Another juice that I most likely had from KW Nudson. Big shout out to them. But yes, we save these jars and then we reuse them in our farmer's market. So if you're interested in getting some fresh juices like this made for you, let us know so that we can provide that for you. Composting are situations where you want to definitely make sure, and this goes into permaculture, that you have a proper compost and that you're doing it neatly um, enough so that it's not attracting critters and all the types of things. So you want to make sure that you're doing this in a proper manner so that it um, is contained. So there, there are composting containers that you can get or you can make your own. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> but anyway, when it comes to the non-wasting part of things, if you can, as much as you can, eat everything off of your plate. Of course, what you don't like, um, wouldn't want you to force anything that you're allergic to or don't like. However, the waste is something that we want to definitely focus on. When it comes to containers also, like going out to eat, that's one thing that I've noticed. Uh, when I'm focused, I'm not thinking um, just about food. I'm also thinking about the carbon footprint. Am I getting a plastic bag when I purchase this? Am I, or am I bringing my own bag? So these things have to come into play when we think about our footprint on the earth and how we reuse things, how we recycle, you know, having a balance. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Earth Talk, where we are giving you something for your mind, your body, your spirit. We're taking it to that fourth dimension now, talking more about sustainability. And we're so happy and grateful to be vessels on your journey. Don't forget to contact me if you have some further questions or you'd like to become a student at www.earthfeather.com. You can also send me a text message at 919-578-3276 if you'd like to make an appointment. Namaste. Healing Springs Pharmacy is our international network. Most of our members are plant-based and we are partnered with Body Ecology. We have over 200 acres of land in Alton, Virginia. We invite you to apply to become a part of our eco-village. The founder of our eco-village is Artis Henson, author of From Dogma to Light. I'm Earth Feather, permaculture designer, yogi, and holistic practitioner. Look forward to hearing from you. Namaste.